Excellent. Hey guys, welcome back to CES 2017 coverage here from Las Vegas, Nevada. First off, I want to thank my sponsors for this event, Gigabyte, Deepcool, as well as OCZ, a Toshiba company. Uh, we're here at Cooler Master right now, though, and they have a ton of stuff on display, but we're very limited on time, so we asked them to show us their most wonderful things. They started off by showing us the, the new Mastercase Pro 6, which we're expecting to launch soon q3 about q3 time frame so maybe after computex um, this is of course continuing all of the functionality and interoperability and interchangeability and make it yoursiness of uh, the master case series so all of the uh, products that are up on the wall right here as far as interchanging things will work as far as like their modular drive system and all that kind of stuff. This one's a little bit more optimized for silence. Uh, it has a tempered glass side panel on it, on it right now. It's going to ship with that. Uh, and then also this top piece here actually has a couple positions. So you can drop it down. It'll close things in, block some of that noise out. Of course, you lose a little bit of airflow. But then you can easily pop that back up too if you want to let the air out. So maybe if you're gaming pop it up if you're you know doing other work that's not going to be as stressful leave it in the down position speaking of the modular stuff though they have on display here uh, one of the new modular items that they have uh, they're going to be selling on them on the, on the cooler master store they're all available um, th again they're all up on the wall here but the vertical vertical graphics cards holder and cable will allow you to get a little PCI Express extender flip your graphics card up 90, 90 degrees so you can get a much better view of it. And uh, a very nice clean system here with some MSI uh, hardware in there and a crepe motherboard. Looking very, very nice. Uh, I also like the LEDs they've integrated here. Those are Cooler Master LEDs. Very nice even uh, tone across all of them and a, and a nice clear white. Uh, anyway though, the other products uh, that are up on the wall here that uh, are all pretty cool. I mean, you've seen some of these. They have uh, added additional SSD holders so you can have them vertical or horizontal or even the extended uh, version here that uh, sticks them out vertically. And of course, th those will all fit in with the modular freeform free system. I really like these Mastercase Pro 3 LED partition panels. Um, I've never really seen anything quite like this, but they have a system set up with that over here. Uh, it's just a blue panel that sits kind of on the bottom right on your uh, power supply shroud and it gives illumination across the entire bottom. Uh, they have a blue one over there. They also have a red and a white one. Um, who knows? Could these ever be RGB in the future? They might be RGB in the future, possibly. No promises now, but that would be cool too. I mean, if you're into RGB, of course. Uh, but the, actually, the thing that they seemed most excited about, and I feel like since I just listened to Kyle say all of these things, I'm repeating everything that he said. So I'm going to steal all of, all of his stuff. He's also the camera person right now. Um, and talk about this right here. This is a $1,000 power supply. And you're like, why is it $1,000? Because it's the best power supply ever made. That's what Cooler Master says, but I, I tend to believe them. This is the Master Watt Maker 1200 MIJ. MIJ stands for Made in Japan. And Cooler Master said, conceptually, what if we built a power supply and we did not care about cost or anything like that? We just wanted to make the best power supply possible. So for that, they had to go out and work with some new partners. The specific partner they worked with is Murata. They're described to us as kind of the NASA of Japan. Um, and you can look up more information on them if you're interested. Um, but they worked with them to basically add additional filtration and other f components in there that I'm not even qualified to talk about really, but basically to like make it the cleanest power you could possibly get, like zero ripple and um, all incredibly high quality components, all from Japan. The uh, design work and the actual build quality of this thing is really insane. They have a clear model of it here, so you can look inside and see just the soldering is like, on point. So a thousand dollars, of course, pretty expensive for a 1200 watt power supply, but for specific use cases, um, if you really, really need clean power, or if you just got to have the best of the best, that's kind of who this is aimed at. Kenzo Tamura is the name of the project engineer. His picture's down here, and he's like the lead engineer who helped uh, design this with Cooler Master. Um, yeah, I, I, I can't even say anything more about this because, again, I'm, I'm not fully qualified, but it um, comes in a very nice package down there. It's fully modular, of course. Any features you might have expected a power supply to have ever. Uh, they got the really thick uh, connection points that are different than the typical modular cables uh, that you get. Uh, and just a, a very nice package and um, just, I guess, the best power supply ever that uh, Cooler Ma Master has made. It rates It's rated above titanium, so they need to make a new a new thing beyond titanium. Uh, in Kyle's video, it was suggested double black diamond. Um, I was thinking maybe, maybe they need to go into a different ma different materials already uh, completely. How about like food? Uh, I want to call it eighty plus. Potato. Eighty pl No, potato would be bad. It starts at potato, 
And then it works, it way up to, works its way up to like velvet cake. I think this is 80 plus velvet cake rated. That makes no sense. It's like an Android software. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I pulled that out of my ass. Uh, all right, <laughs> that's, that's all I have to say about this. And finally out here, uh, we talked about the modular system that's inside for the Master Case Maker series. Uh, this is uh, their work to give you a little bit more customization outside. So these are actually spray painted panels that uh, they might potentially be selling on the store. So you can buy different pieces, pop them in, give your case, you know, a nice gray finish, a yellow, perhaps a more patriotic theme. Uh, and then moving down the line here, we have some wraps that are going on here. So a bit of a, ca a carbon fiber accents, uh, also even different uh, uh, finishes on the handles that you can put on top to carry the case around. And then finally over here, uh, we have this, which is a vacuum wrap um, and actually gives you like a wood finish on the end. So a ton of options there. They're even working on stickers. So uh, I think what we would like is some comments in the comment section that maybe Cooler Master could read and uh, give some feedback from you guys about which of this stuff up here you think looks coolest and that they should stock in their store. That's all for my coverage here from CES 2017 of the Cooler Master Suite. Big thanks again to my sponsors Gigabyte, OCZ, a Toshiba company, as well as Deepcool. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.